is the field of the fifth now on post parade. Historic is number one with Doug Brown for the Robert Grand Holdings. Winning goalie two gets Tony Kerwood for James Smith. Anthony and Joseph spat a four. The owners, Bill Gale driving three. Under orders. Riyadh is number four. Brett Robinson is driving for Peter Heffering. Make a deal from post five. Steve Condren, your driver for Brittany Farms. Six is Tribeca with Mike Saftig for Claude Jandro. And number seven, Village Jiffy, owned by the Village Jiffy Syndicate and the drive to Paul McDonnell. The fifth from Woodbine, second elimination for the 53rd Canadian Pacing Derby. Fifth race, second elimination, 53rd Canadian Pacing Derby coming to the start. There, off and pacing, Village Jiffy is out strong on the outside. Tribeca was tardy for the gate. And at the inside goes under orders. Winning goalie was off stride and is now gapped out from the field. Winning goalie is out of it in the early going. Riyadh and Village Jiffy go at it into the first turn. Village Jiffy reaching up to take the lead. Riyadh settling away in second. Under orders is third. Historic is fourth. Then make a deal, Tribeca. And winning goalie back down pacing, but is the trailer. 26-1 the quarter pull for Village Jiffy to establish the lead. Village Jiffy taking him into the backstretch just as he pleases, but he's got Riyadh tucked right in behind him. Under orders on the inside, remaining in third. Historic is fourth, and considering moving to the outside, there goes Historic making his move to the outer flow. Two more lengths to make a deal from fifth, then Tribeca, and a winning goalie. Here is the half. Village Jiffy gets the second quarter as he wanted it. Riyadh in behind him. Historic works first up. 55-3 and three the halftime. That was 29 and 2 in the second quarter. Village Jiffy on the inside. Historic working first over. Riyadh is in the pocket. Make a deal into contention now. Fourth on the outside. Less than two off of the lead. Under orders at the inside. Five, then Tribeca and winning goalie. Village Jiffy holding sway on the front end. Historic at his flanks. Three parts of a length away. Riyadh has been in the pocket all the way thus far. Make a deal with second over. Under orders fifth. Three quarters in one, 23 and 4. 28 and the third quarter, the second elimination of the Canadian Pacing Derby is into the final eighth. Village Jiffy the inside. Historic going bravely from first over is inching in and trying to wear him down. Historic has colored Village Jiffy in the late going. Riyadh gets out, but this one goes to Historic from first over. Over Village Jiffy, Riyadh and under orders 151 and 2 for Historic in the second Derby elimination. It's a sweep of the Canadian Pacing Derby eliminations for driver Doug Brown, the second elim to historic four-year-old son of Nihilator from Datable, owned by Robert Grand Holdings of Campbellville, trained by Stu Ferlot. That's the fourth in 17 this year for historic, 151 and two in the fifth race. A Doug Brown driving double in the Pacing Derby eliminations. For historic, among his career credits, the Metro Stakes, Fifth place finisher, last year's North America Cup. That's his 18th career victory. He's closing in on $1.2 million in career earnings. Well, it could be decision time next week for driver Doug Brown, whether it'll be ball and chain or historic. We will find out within the next seven days. Doug's uh, last previous win in the Canadian Pacing Derby final was in 1990 with Top Notcher. And again, Doug Brown is out trackside with our Glenn Crowther. Glenn, take it away. 
Frank, thank you very much. Well, there's going to be a decision here, and we're going to hold you at the end of the interview just to find out which horse Doug Brown is going to be driving in the big final. But first of all, Doug, a little quieter first quarter this time out, 26-1. and one. Yeah, I, I didn't think we'd go quite as much as the, the first the first division, but uh, a couple in there leave pretty good, and I, I was really surprised that uh, they didn't go a little more than 26 and one. So we're looking at um, the fact you're 53 or 55 and three at the half. Is this a good race for your horse there? You're feeling in a good position? Yeah, he, he's he's so much better horse either, either in front or, or first up. Uh, he just likes to kind of go his own mile, and uh, when you got to fight with him to, to keep keep him behind cover, he just doesn't seem as good. But coming first up never never has bothered him. He, He's always been able to go the distance and, and stay strong at the end. Well, Doug, I've got to ask you, looking at the size of Historic compared to all the other horses, what makes this small horse so great? His gait, number one, he's got such a long and, and strong gait to him, but uh, what's inside him, I think, makes, makes him such a great horse. He, he just wants to win all the time. He never, never quits digging, and that, that's why he was such a good two-year-old. He, he just never give up. All right, well, the obvious question coming up, Mr. Doug Brown, is we've got the final, the big final next Saturday. Are we going to be driving historic or ball and chain? Uh, I'll have to make that decision when the, the owners and trainers on are, aren't around, I guess. <laughs> but, uh, it's going to be a very difficult decision because Historic has just, just been so good to me and, and Stu and Robert. Uh, I can't say enough about Joe Stutzman. He's, he's done, done me a lot of good too, so I'm just going to have to sleep on it for a day or two. Well, all the best to you and your decision, Historic. Congratulations as well to Robert Graham. A great final coming up next Saturday, ladies and gentlemen. Now we're returning to track announcer Frank Salive. Doug and Glenn, thank you. The fifth race finish order then.